I'm Teresa. I'm a dental hygienist. I've been doing this for 40 years. I had a really bad experience as a child in the dental chair. I was not very good at my home care when I was 16 years old. And instead of my hygienist preaching at me, she actually taught me how to take care of my teeth. Through the years, I have learned tips of the trade. I'm going to teach you how to take care of your teeth and make your dental experiences a much healthier and happier place. Welcome back to Teresa's Tips. Um, I just wanted to go over something um, that I get a lot of questions about, and that is profi or regular prophylactic cleaning or just a cleaning versus periodontal disease. 75% of the population has periodontal disease, 85% of dogs in case you want to play on Jeopardy. What is the difference? A healthy mouth is no bone loss, no receded gums, and you have pockets uh, when they do the probings of three millimeters or less. That is a regular prophy or prophylactic. Now periodontal disease. Uh, we've had a lot of patients come in since COVID wearing a mask. Um, it deprives their mouth of oxygen. So we've had a lot of patients come from healthy mouths and switch to periodontal um, disease mouths. We do not know how you get periodontal disease. They have been researching this disease for a very long time. They cannot cure it but they can maintain it. What it is, is pockets deeper than five millimeters or more. It has receded gums. Now you may have a three millimeter pocket with two millimeters of recession. That counts as periodontal disease because those two pockets together, the recession and the probing equal five millimeters or more. There's different stages of periodontal disease that you don't need to know. If you want to know more, I will, will give you information if you request it. What we do is we do something called scaling and root planing. We go in and clean to the base of the pocket. We get rid of the food and the bacteria. I like to say throwing it in jail. It only takes three months for it to get out of jail and have a party at your house. It's like the teenager home on the weekend without parents. The best way to fight this disease is with an electric toothbrush. Oral-B or Sonicare by Philips, they are able to access a six millimeter pocket below the gum line. You must change your head of the brush every three months. Sometimes you may need to change it a little bit sooner. You're gonna hold it five seconds at least on each tooth. When the plaque turns hard into tartar, that is the food for the bacteria. Um, there's a lot of other issues with periodontal disease. It can be systemic. Um, we've had a lot of patients that have been healthy before cancer, have come in with periodontal disease after cancer because of the stress of their body and the health of their body. There are some ways um, to prevent it. The best way is proper nutrition, and I will have a video that will go over that, as well as home care. And I've given you my home care um, at the beginning you can go back and refer back to that of all the things that you can do for periodontal disease. The reason we are concerned about periodontal disease is the bacteria, and you can Google the names that are this long. I can't pronounce a one of them. They will go in, eat the bone away, eventually teeth become loose. We don't want that part because then you lose your teeth and then um, that's a whole nother ball game. But what we do is those bacteria have been linked to heart disease, pneumonia, arthritis, Alzheimer's, diabetes, for women, low birth weight babies and premature deliveries. For men, they're linking prostate issues as well as erectile dysfunction. I have not seen all the research yet, but they keep adding to the list. So please keep health updates. Do a lot of research on yourself. Your mouth is the gateway to your body. This is an x-ray. This is my x-ray. I'm gonna teach you to read x-rays so you can understand periodontal disease and what we're looking for in the hygiene department. And I do this with all my patients so they can understand you are your own best advocate for your health. Okay, so anytime you read an x-ray, the right side is your left, the left side is your right. It's like you looking back at yourself. So I clicked on the left side and this is the molar premolar area. This is a crown. This is a root canal. So what I look for is this little white area right here. This is your enamel where it meets the root of your tooth. This white is your bone. The bone is supposed to be a millimeter, millimeter and a half below where the enamel meets the root of your tooth. So this bone should be where my finger is. 
right there is where the enamel meets the root about a millimeter below. So you can see there is slight bone loss on this x-ray. Now I'm going to click on another x-ray that is healthy and I'm going to teach you what, it, what it's supposed to look like. So this is a healthy mouth. This is where your enamel meets the root of your tooth and you can see the bone line is right there, right where it's supposed to be. Okay, so have your hygienist show you or your dentist show you the difference of where your bone is and where your bone is supposed to be. If you have any questions, if I can help, let me know. If you find a cure for this, you can just message me directly and we will retire tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. I'm hoping I'm helping you stay out of a dental chair. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. If there's any resources, they will be in the description box. And if you have any comments or questions, please place them or ideas, please place them in the comment box.